three, two, one. With 11 seconds left on the autonomous timer, one second is one away. Snacky cakes from Richmond Hill come over to the long goal. Radeline's doing the same thing on the opposite end, but wow, they have come on this side of the field. Mark Potts getting there and filled that goal to the brim. A close autonomous. Hold on a second. But blue takes the round, so we'll start. Driver control in three, two, one. 9123X team from Shanghai, China in their loading zone. Filling up their robot, kicking out those opponent colored blocks, getting all of those reds lined up. But in the meantime, 9123C, the other team from Shanghai on their side. Wow, just clearing out any red blocks that were formerly placed in that long goal. Now adding up one more red, two more blue, getting control of the zone on their end of the field. But red has control of the other long goal on the field. And I want you to know how crucial those long goals are because each one of them is worth 10 points. The only thing on the field that rivals that is the autonomous bonus. And the only thing that beats it is a double park. We've seen both of those things in these matches so far. We have 56 seconds left in the clock. Now, 16610A guarding their side of the long goal as 1101B sneaks in and takes it. We have full control for red, full control for blue, and 9123C has flipped over, giving 9123X an opening, but they are back in play with 36 seconds left on the clock. Markbots getting there, still holding it down on their side of the goal. There are three blue blocks that has nine points worth in this far side goal. They have 25 seconds left, and I'm sure blue would love to get those in the control zone, but whoa, oh, there it is on the near side. They've just cleared out, taken control. Red desperately trying to hang on to control of this zone on this side. If red wins, they take it. If blue wins, they take it. And now there are two blues in the center goal. 